What's up? My name's Adam and I'm an artist out of Northern Wisconsin. We got ourselves another stroke adjustable tattoo machine. Imala Tattoo Supplies reached out to me on Instagram and they sent me this, the Imala Grand seven strokes in one wireless tattoo machine. Now, just because Imala Tattoo Supplies sent me this does not mean I have to say anything good about it. They did not tell me to say anything positive. They said I could give my own input on it. They basically just sent it to me to test it and to share it with you guys. And they are not paying me to make this video. I'm just saying that as a disclaimer to let you guys know that my opinion cannot be bought. In fact, I don't even like stroke adjustable tattoo machines. I'm just saying that to let you guys know that I am actually pretty biased against the stroke adjustable tattoo machines. The reason I don't like them is because every single one that I get breaks really, really quickly. Now I put this tattoo machine through a little bit of testing. I tested it for about two to three weeks. And I know that's not a long time to use a tattoo machine to give you guys my final opinion, but I just want you guys to know so far in those first two to three weeks, I have not had any issues with this machine. And I think it's important to state that this tattoo machine actually comes with a warranty card. So if it does break, you guys can get it fixed. That is a lot different than how all the other machine companies are doing these stroke adjustable tattoo machines. Normally the stroke adjustable tattoo machines do not come with a warranty where they'll back it up if anything breaks. And it's very easy to contact Imala if there's any issues you guys are having, you guys could contact Imala right on Instagram. I'll put a link actually to their Instagram right down in the description. And then I'll also put a link so you guys could buy this tattoo machine in the link in the description as well. We're going to get into the full unboxing in just a second and we're going to talk about all the specs but I think it's important first to talk about my experience with using this machine. Now instantly when I picked this tattoo machine up and I took it all out of the package and everything and I held it in my hands instantly I thought wow it actually feels like good quality all the way through, like the grip and everything. They, it comes standard with the thick grip, which I like. Like everything, just when I hold it in my hands and I, and I play around with it, it just feels solid all the way through. When you turn the machine on, just pressing this back button, it's flickering because the frame rate on my camera is different than the frame rate on the LCD monitor. But when I click the button, like no sound and very, very little vibration, which is not common in stroke adjustable tattoo machines. Normally they're a lot louder and they have a lot more vibrations. I'm gonna put this next to the microphone and see if you guys hear the vibrations. I hardly hear anything. So very little vibrations, very little sound coming from it. And the needle is actually very, very consistent. It's not skipping around on the skin or anything. It is a very nice solid hit. And so it's not causing any like extra trauma to the skin or redness to the skin than it has to. Now with black and gray, gray wash, I've been using this at around the, what is it? The 3.6 stroke, stroke length. I've been using it at 3.6 and that's been giving me very smooth and solid like gradients to my work without like overworking the gray wash and overworking the skin or anything. And then for color, I've been using the 4.2 stroke. That's the highest stroke length on this tattoo machine. I've been using the 4.2 stroke around eight to nine volts for color. And that's been just getting a nice solid saturation of pigment into the skin as quickly as possible without causing extra trauma to the skin and to be completely honest with you guys i do not do that much line work tattoos so i haven't used this a lot with like line work or anything i think I'm, i may i might have done maybe one tattoo honestly that's just pure line work and i mean as far as i can tell it works really really good for line work i used it i believe at the 4.2 stroke length the reason i don't use you know liners a lot is because i'm doing a lot of realistic stuff and just with the style i do i don't really do line work really so that's just me being honest with you guys i am sure it is great with line work you know this machine is very consistent and it punches pretty hard as a tattoo artist it's pretty important to find a tattoo machine just one tattoo machine that you can do with everything and because this is a stroke adjustable tattoo machine and there's seven strokes in one this tattoo machine could do literally everything it's like having seven tattoo machines in one essentially the lower the stroke length you're using is going to put the ink in slower into the skin and softer making it better for like gray wash and stuff and then the higher the stroke length you use on your tattoo 
tattoo machine is gonna put the ink in quicker and hit a little harder, better for like line work and color. Now we're gonna go over the unboxing and then I'm gonna talk a little bit about the price. We're actually gonna go over to their website and check out the best value bang for your buck because you can get other options. There is options where you get an extra battery, there's battery sold separate. So we're just gonna talk about that a little bit. And then I'm gonna give you guys my final conclusion on this tattoo machine. All right, as always, this tattoo machine is used. I've used it and I have used the package and I have moved everything around. So not everything might be in the right spot, but I tried to put everything back together like how I got it. The box it comes in presents the machine very nicely and the top just comes right off. Right on the top, you're gonna to be greeted with the warranty card with the serial number of your tattoo machine. This is a card you're going to you want to keep you're not going to want to throw this away just in case your tattoo machine breaks you're going to have to send your machine in with this warranty card up next you get the user manual on how to use the tattoo machine if you guys want you guys could pause it and read it otherwise we're just going to keep moving on imala also included this this is a warranty form you're going to have to fill this all out if you have an issue with your tattoo machine it's going to ask you what distributor you ordered the tattoo machine from or you could check that you got it from their website it's just going to ask you a few questions you are going to have to send this in with the warranty card if your tattoo machine breaks. They also provided this nice carrying case in case you have to travel with your tattoo machine is just nice to have. I'm enjoying that most tattoo companies are now including this. Pulling out this tattoo machine, you guys gotta remember that it is used. So I do have some fingerprints on it. Sorry about that. We're just gonna set it off to the side right now and we're gonna talk about it more in just a little bit. Now I was surprised to see Imala included this. This is an RCA port. So what you can do is you could take the battery off your tattoo machine. You could put this RCA port on and then you can use any kind of battery on the market that has an RCA port on it you could use any one of those batteries here on this tattoo machine or you could plug it in and use your tattoo machine wired speaking about wires they actually include wires here in this box they actually included a full-on RCA cable now to be fair this cable is kind of frail it is a pretty thin cable so I wouldn't suggest using this as your main cable but it is nice to see that they included one for us and then we also have the type c charger to usb and wire that they include you guys are going to have to still provide yourself one of your little dongles or whatever that you plug into the wall to plug your usb in pretty standard you're going to have to supply that yourself they also provide a tool bag with a whole bunch of rubber grommets a few allen keys and a flywheel and i'm going to show you guys in just a little bit how to take the machine apart and to replace the flywheel on your tattoo machine if you buy the tattoo machine version that comes with a second battery this little compartment here on the bottom right hand corner this is where your second battery will go otherwise you're just going to get a whole bunch of foam and then it's just a foam insert inside of the case now taking a look at the tattoo machine we'll see that the highest stroke length that this tattoo machine goes to is 4.2 stroke and then going down in the stroke lengths the lowest stroke length that we can get to is 2.4 stroke and on the side of the battery, we will see the charger port, the type C charger port there on the side of the battery. To take the battery off, you guys just unscrew it. You guys are gonna wanna be very careful that you do not strip any of these threads. I actually prefer having the threads on the battery so you know that your battery is on your machine nice and tightly compared to having magnets where if you bump the battery because it's only held on by magnets, your machine will just turn off randomly during your tattoo. The grip is a click grip, similar to like an FK Irons machine. When you twist the grip, it clicks into place. I prefer this over the standard smooth grip. This tattoo machine, like many other tattoo machines, is going to come with a lot of lube on the inside. This lube is to prevent the friction when spinning the grip. Obviously it makes filming a lot harder, so I had to wipe it all down so we don't get fingerprints everywhere. Taking the tattoo machine apart is very simple. There's just a small grub screw on the side of the tattoo machine right here that you're gonna wanna use your Allen key to take the grub screw off. I would like to state that this is the only screw that you get, so do not lose it. You then just pull the top shell of the tattoo machine off. Notice that I did rip the flywheel off while pulling it apart. I kind of gave it a little too much force. You guys are gonna wanna pull this apart gently so you do not launch your flywheel across the room like I did. Now the flywheels are just held on by pressure. So what I did here is I popped off the original flywheel and then I tried to put on the new one. The issue is that the new one was a little too tight and it was really hard to get back on. So I ended up just taking off the new one and putting back on the original flywheel. To put it back together, just do the same thing you did when taking it apart, but in reverse. 
turning on the tattoo machine, hold down the button with the circle on it. The screen does not flicker on the tattoo machine. It is just synced up weird with the frame rate on my camera. I cannot help this. You can press down or hold on the plus or minus button to cycle through your voltages. This tattoo machine could go all the way down to four volts and all the way up to 12 volts. This tattoo machine does have jump start mode. The way you're gonna wanna turn on jump start mode is to make sure the machine is off and then double press the button with the circle on it and that will turn the machine on in jump start mode. You will know you're in jump start mode when there's a little lightning bolt in the top right corner. We're going to take the stock battery off of the tattoo machine and we're going to put this RCA port onto it so we could try it with one of our batteries. Here I am putting on the Musatoku Rover R1 battery onto the end of the tattoo machine. This is a very small form factor battery. I have a whole video of this on my YouTube channel. The nice thing about this battery is that it will actually tell us how efficient the tattoo machine motor is running. What it is essentially is that the bars of power are showing on the bottom of the screen there. And you'll see when I'm running in five volts, only two bars of power are being drawn on this motor. Switching through the stroke lengths, the bars of power do not change. With this tattoo machine only having two bars of power at five volts, that makes this tattoo machine super efficient compared to other tattoo machines. We will see when I raise the voltage on this battery that it will be drawing more bars of power. All the way at 12 volts, this tattoo machine is only drawing five bars of power. That is very efficient for a tattoo machine. This machine right here is called the Axis Valhalla. It is also a stroke adjustable tattoo machine. When at 5 volts, we can see that this tattoo machine is drawing a little bit more power than the Amala Grand was. This machine is drawing 3 bars of power at 5 volts. And then at 12 volts, it's drawing a whopping 7 bars of power, which is way less efficient compared to the Amala Grand's 5 bars of power. All right, now we're over on the Amala website. Hopefully, anything that I forgot to cover in the video, hopefully we'll be able to cover it right now. So, I am blocking the price of this machine right now with my head. I'll show you guys in just a second. Um, let's first look at these photos. So the Amala Grand, so this is what you get. Here is the machine that I showed you guys in the unboxing. Funny fact right now, guys, is that I'm actually filming this before the unboxing. So I don't know what I told you guys in that, but here is more information. Output voltage four. So this goes from four volts to 12 volts. Pretty standard. Four volts is pretty nice for stippling. 12 volts, I would never suggest running your tattoo machine that high. Um, don't really suggest anyone go over 10 volts, honestly. Uh, charger input, uh, you could charge this tattoo machine with uh, USB type C, which is really nice. Uh, there's the dimensions right there. The grip size is 38 millimeters. Now this is one of the big problems that I have with this tattoo machine is that the battery life is only five to seven hours long. So this is only an 1800 milliamp battery in like all the standard tattoo machines that we're getting right now are around 2000 milliamps. So this is a slightly smaller battery. Um, and you can even just tell by looking at the battery here on the machine right now, like if they just gave us, you know, a couple extra millimeters on the back, we, they could have fit the 2000 milliamp battery inside of this. As far as I know, they do not sell the 2000 milliamp battery separate. I would like to see that. I, I would actually like to see machines come out with the 3200 uh, milliamp battery in all the tattoo machines. Um, so if you watch my channel, you, you know I complain about that a lot. So this is not something I would like with the battery life. I would like to see that upgraded in this. Um, and then right here, we'll see the adjustable strokes. We got the stroke lengths right here. So we got the 3.4, the or the 2.4, the 2.7, the 3.0, uh, the 3.3, the 3.6, the 3.9, and the 4.2. Like I said earlier in the video, I use the 3.6 for black and gray. Most things I, I use the 3.6 for, and then I bump it up to the 4.2 if I have to get more saturation, like with line work or color or something. And then it looks right here, like the in-between that they're pointing at is the 3.3. I don't know if that's because they're suggesting that to people to use or, or what, or why there's an arrow right there. Maybe they're suggesting people use a 3.3. I, I don't really suggest people use the 3.3. It just seems a little too soft. I would bump it up. Uh, honestly, maybe the 3.9 would be a good all around. Like you could probably do everything with the with the 3.9 stroke on this tattoo machine. All right, let's continue. Um, so like I said, the 1800 milliamp battery, I don't like that, but you will see here the power on, power off, uh, voltage up, voltage down, and then it has a working time meter or whatever. So when your machine is running, the timer will go up on it. When you pause your machine, the timer will stop. Just to let you guys know, that is a nice feature to have in all these tattoo machines nowadays, because you can see your session time and then charge people off that time. You know, if you have an hour and then you can charge people an hour. 
um, power off after five minutes. So if you just leave it on your tattoo station, it will shut itself off. It won't just die. So if you go on a lunch break or something through a big session, you know, it won't just die on you. Even though a big session might kill your battery anyways, you might want to get two batteries with this thing just because it is going to die after about five hours. That's what I've been doing. I've been just, you know, working two or three hours, taking a lunch break, plugging it in through the type C, you know, trying to be as, as cleanly as cleanly as you can throughout the whole process of putting the type C port in it, you know, getting a little more juice in it during your break. It's sad to do that. I wish that people would just, you know, all these companies, I wish they would just make a bigger battery. Let's continue opening i don't know what this is all about I, i've seen this photo earlier i don't really know understand this opening like i don't understand that so turning it on maybe their english is bad i don't know and then jump start functionality so this does have jump start if you guys are interested in that that's basically where your the machine will jump up to nine volts i believe for the first two seconds just to get that needle going and then it'll go down to whatever voltage you have it set at i, I run this machine at nine volts anyway so <laughs> yeah i mean jump start is just you know it's just pretty standard for me um traditional and wireless so you do have the rca port which is nice to have as a backup and honestly guys using an rca port actually does give you more amperage to your tattoo machine than a standard battery so the tattoo machine will actually feel different if you run it with an rca port and there's a whole video on my youtube channel going over what amperage does to your tattoo machines and why they are important to tattooing but that's the reason why a lot of people mostly the older traditional artists are using rca ports because it gives you more amperage to your tattoo machine so you know you got the seven strokes you got the battery and then if you also have the rca that's like a, having a whole nother machine in itself it's just having the rca because that's going to give you a lot more amperage to your tattoo machine compared to a battery wired you know wired you can get up to eight or something amps and then wireless you get like two amps all right let's continue so this is what you're you'll get if you get all items if you get both of the batteries and then you'll also receive that you receive the rca with whatever product you buy if you buy it with just the one battery you'll still get the rca port now let's look at the price right here if you just want the the standard just the machine and the one battery it will also come with the rca port you're going to be looking at right here 600 us dollars now that sounds like a lot it's not that much for a tattoo machine, guys. I know people at home are like, yeah, speak for yourself, buddy. <laughs> That's a lot of money. And, and I get that to a point, $600 is a lot, but you can make that back within, you know, a, one tattoo, two tattoos, whatever. $600 is not that much for a tattoo machine, guys, honestly. And you, this is also coming with a warranty card. All these other, you know, stroke adjustable tattoo machines do not come with that warranty. So you're not gonna be backed in case your tattoo machine breaks. So you could be spending, you know, you, you could cheap out, you know, get the, you know, the $400 stroke adjustable tattoo machine. It can break in a week or two, and then you won't be able to get it fixed because you didn't go with this option where you get the warranty card. So that's actually a huge deal when you're buying a tattoo machine. Make sure you get a warranty on your tattoo machine. And then if you get the version with two batteries, that's going to cost you $750. So was that five or six? an extra $150 and then the battery separate is $180. So if you want to save money, probably get the version with the two batteries. I honestly, I'm just going to be fine with the one battery and then, and then plug it in type C. Um, but if you guys do want to use this as your main tattoo machine, I'd probably suggest getting the second battery. I don't know if they have another machine with a, with a compatible battery or anything on their website. I didn't really look. Um, but I mean, that is something to consider just because the battery only lasts about five hours. So it's something to consider mostly, especially if you guys do large tattoo sessions, probably get the second battery. All right, now let's go over my final conclusion on the Amala Grand tattoo machine. I think this tattoo machine is restoring my faith in stroke adjustable wireless machine pens. And I'm honestly not just saying that this machine is great guys. I've had no issues with it. It hits pretty hard, it hits good. It's a very strong hit. And normally with this not being a direct drive machine, because it does have that flywheel in it and there's different mechanics working on the inside, it's still hitting 
very, very hard and consistent all the way through, which you typically do not get with these stroke adjustable tattoo machines. Same with zero, almost zero to no vibrations. And the sound is very quiet on this thing. A lot of the other stroke adjustable tattoo machines are almost embarrassing to use because of how loud they are. This one is not embarrassing to use. This is a great machine. It's not that hard to wrap either. Having the stroke adjustment, it's not that hard. You just put you know, your saran wrap around it. You tape on the seams and you can break it and, and spin it at will. Same with like how you would do your grip and everything. When you spin, you know, the grip, this part does not, this part wiggles, but it's not spinning also. I've had some stroke adjustable tattoo machines when you spin the grip, you know, it's also changing stroke length and we don't want that and that's not happening. And you know, when I'm spinning the grip, you know, this point of spinning is also not turning like the battery or whatever. The battery is not spinning. The stroke is not spinning, only the grip spinning. That's rare. You don't get that with a lot of these stroke adjustable tattoo machines. And with the warranty card, guaranteeing that your machine can get fixed if anything happens is a big deal. And this machine has one. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm going to be at the Villain Arts Tattoo Convention in Milwaukee on October, I believe it's 6th, 7th, and 8th, or it's the 7th, 8th, and 9th, whatever that weekend is. I'm going to be there for the last two days of the convention. I'm just gonna be walking around, talking to people. I'll have hats and shirts if any of you guys run up to me recognize me do not be afraid to say what's up i want to talk to you guys in person i want to hold a conversation i want to see your guys' tattoos i want to talk to you about tattooing tattoo machines and everything and i'll give you guys a shirt and a hat if i see you also if i missed anything on this tattoo machine or you guys have any questions just leave them down below i reply to every single comment also let me know if you guys have this machine and if you guys have had any issues with it are you guys enjoying it how long have you had it let me know down in the comments I'll be happy to have a conversation with you guys over there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.